It was an early afternoon at the monastery of Spinitsu. Cole was having a sparring match with his friends Kai and Sane. It was actually Kai who suggested this idea of having a sparring match, since all of them had taken care of their chores at the monastery already, and since Cole didn't have other plans otherwise, he agreed. And while they were doing their sparring match, Cole seems to be in other thoughts. He was thinking of something while he was training with his friends. Kai pointed out multiple times during his sparring match to keep focus on the sparring match rather than being daydreaming, he immediately apologized. But there was only one thing that he was actually thinking of, and that was Queen Vanya. Queen Vanya was someone they met earlier during the, when they went to her kingdom, after they self helped her to save her kingdom from danger. And even after the sparring match, Cole was just sitting down at one place and just, and he still thought about her. And even when Lloyd actually walked up to him and asked if something was wrong, Cole's like, no, nothing's wrong. I just, you know, deep thoughts. Then Lloyd sat down and said, yeah, I heard about that during your training with Kai and Sane. Want to talk about it? Uh, it's nothing important, he said. Well, you can always talk to us. You know that. We're, you're, we are your friends. Ah, <sighs> well, be honest, I am actually is a deep thought about this, and, you know... Oh, that I thought, that type of thoughts, he said, with a bit of a grin. So, who is the lucky lady? asked Lloyd with a grin. Hey, how did you... No, well, you kind of had a face for that. Well, you remember our journey when we met Queen Vanya? Oh, well, she was princess back then, but yeah, I remember that. What about it? Ever since then, I can't get her off of my mind. Oh, so you've fallen in love with her, haven't you? Well, that's true. I mean, I just... For some reason, I can't get off her my mind. I don't blame you though, Cole. I mean, she is beautiful, but honestly, did you really have any idea if you have, you know, a chance with her? I mean, you are master of the element of Earth. She's a queen. That made a little bit sound like an insult to Cole. So you don't think I have a chance with her? He said almost angrily. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cole, I didn't mean that. You mean... Then what do you mean then? He asked. Alright. I didn't mean to make you upset like that. It just... Don't you think I have a chance for the queen? He asked. No, I mean... It's not like that. Let me explain, he said. You know... You know that her being a queen, she has a lot of royal duties, right? Yeah. And she might have just been very much busy with her duties. And I... Don't know if she much, if she has much, uh, you know, spare time. Oh, you mean that way? Uh, yeah, I can see why you mean by that, Lloyd. But you should have probably said that before. Well, you interrupted me. He said, "Well, though I have fought by her so much lately, and it really, folk really distracted me during my focus during the sparring match or or my chores." Yeah, I have later seen that, he said, said Lloyd. But, what, so what should I do? Just move on and find someone else to be with? I mean, Lloyd was very silent for a moment. You know, it's hard. It is. Sometimes it is very hard to just move on from someone you really like. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's probably best to just let the people that you like go. But, what if she actually liked me the same thing? Well, that's not a part, but, you know, you probably should reach out to her somehow. At least, maybe meet up with her and, you know, telling her how you feel. Just simple like that? Do you think that's actually gonna work? Well, I mean, what other options do you have? 
I mean, either that or just simply forget about her and find someone else here. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just don't know, he said, Cole. I will think about it. So Lloyd said, sure, if you wanted to talk more, just let me know. Then he got up and left. Cole remained sitting there and just thought of what Lloyd told him. That he could just simply just to travel to Vanya's home, to her kingdom, and tell him how, she, how he felt for her. But that might not even happen for a while, he thought to himself. But after about two weeks of this thinking, he actually decided he was going to do it. He told his friends that he was going to leave for, for a little while. And even though his friends like Kai, Jay, Lloyd, and even Zane asked him where he was going. And even Nia and S also asked him where to go. But unfortunately, he didn't tell them where he was going. Because they said, well, if you don't tell us where you're going, what if you end up in a danger? But he said, where I'm going won't be a danger. After all, I'm the master of element of Earth, you know? I mean, I can probably handle myself a little bit. And I won't be that gone for long. Maybe two days at most. All right. But take care of yourself, said his friends. Then he left. When he arrived to Queen Vanya's kingdom, he was greeted by the guards at the, at, at the castle who stopped him from entering. Halt! Who's there? My name is Cole. I'm a friend of Queen Vanya. I'm asking for audience with her. One of the guards went inside and later came back and led them in, in the castle. Vanya was actually very surprised to see Cole. She asked if a lot of his friends was also with her, with him. But he said no, he was alone. She even smiled and said that he's always welcome back to her kingdom after what he and his friends did for her. So they went to another part of the room where she arranged something to eat. She asked him what her what his business or what his came to her kingdom or something or like that suddenly. Well, he said there is a personal matter why I'm here. Oh, she asked. Then he explained by confessing his feelings for her. Oh, so that's the matter. Yeah. Then he went a bit silent and it felt awkward. Cole didn't say much more and Vanya didn't say anything else. After that, she told a servant to give to show Cole to one of his guest rooms. So he decided to stay there for maybe just one day before returning back home. But that evening, or at least that night, as Cole was sitting on the bed, he stared at the ceiling and he thought to himself, at least I have given my opportunity to tell her how, how I felt. I'm probably going back home tomorrow. And by the next day around breakfast time, Vanya wasn't there. She, she was informed one of the servants that she will be just busy a little bit that, that morning, but she would like to see Cold around noon. So, around noon, he was shown to the castle garden where she was waiting for him and for having some lunch. This is a bit surprised. Yeah, I mean, I thought maybe this could have been a good idea, she said with a smile. You see, I was originally planning to go back home around noon, but I can't think I can stay for a bit longer for lunch. He, she nodded and smiled. Even during the lunch, though, they just they talked normally of things when suddenly Cole said that what he mentioned just the day before was actually genuine. But he understands if she doesn't like him the same way and... But she interrupted him and said, You know, I actually had some thoughts about that ever since you told me yesterday. And the reason is why I was so silent. I was taken aback and I didn't know how to respond to that. She said, and Colts like smiled and joked and said, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can understand why. I mean, you know, it's very suddenly when someone just out of blue came, just came forward with a confession like that. She nodded and said, yeah, I mean, if I was aware that you have feelings for me already, I wouldn't like being like that. But then he said, you know, the girls would have been, I mean, we're like the vice versa. 
if you were the one who told me of my your true feelings for me, I would have like, probably felt the same thing. She nodded and said, yeah, that makes sense. But then she said that she actually has something to tell him. And he asked what? She told him she liked him. Very much. Ever since then, that he and his friends helped her to save her kingdom and and put her, and remove her father was corrupted, and that she became the queen, she never even stopped thinking about him ever since. She had often wanted to go see his world, but being a, a queen was always demanding a lot of work. And he completely understand that. And he told her the same thing back that he has always had been taking care of things at home as well. You know, find some bad guys or even maintain the balance in his own, own home. But then he told her, it's probably best that just they remain friends. But that made her sad because she told him that she was willing to give him a chance to be with him. But they knew at least one thing, that since they live in two different worlds and that she's a queen, they were almost impossible for him to spend any enough time together. But then Cole suggested that he could stay in her kingdom from time to time for maybe a few days each time. So they can do spend some time together even despite that. She thought that was probably a good idea, so they continued to start with they started to do that at first. So for the next couple of months, Cole went to see Queen Vanya from time to time and stay there for sometimes for a few days to even a week. At first his friends was really curious why he's going there going there suddenly when he it meant when he mentioned where he was going now. But it take, didn't take long for Cole to inform Lloyd that now he and Vanya are actually dating. And it wouldn't take long for us or their friends to also to be informed and find out about it. They were happy for him. Because they could see how good Vanya were for Cole. And even though some of the girls was actually a bit jealous so bad that Cole had found someone to be with. But in the end, they just was happy to see that he was happy with and smiling. But there was one other topic about it. If Cole were marrying Vanya, he would have been the king. And that the question is if he would remain in her kingdom permanently. That they would lose the master of earth in their own home. But Cole said that he would shift his as a king and as the element master back home. Which he and Vanya made uh, like some sort of a deal, like agreement that they would shift. That since she had been taking care of her kingdom alone for a while, so she used to this. So she actually thought it was a good idea. If his friends needed his help with something, if there was a big crisis, they can always reach out, and that he would immediately show up. And after being dating for about five years, Cole and Vanya decided to tie the knot. They actually were just happy to be married. In fact, Cole had asked Lloyd to his, be his best man, and Vanya, which has also become very good friends with some of his friends, had asked Pixel if she wanted to be her, her maid of honor, which she said yes. They actually had the wedding in in Vanya's home. And now Vanya and especially Cole was now the official official king of the kingdom. But they decided to spend their honeymoon in Ninjago, in Cole's home, for, for about a week. And luckily for Vanya, she had appointed a council after shortly after she became the queen, and the council will take care of the ruling while she is gone. And while she was in Ninjago for about a week, Cole showed her all kinds of things. She was amazed at the difference about the, compared to her own, her own home. But she was just also happy to be able to take care of things like this. She made an agreement with the council. For time to time, if she needed a break from rolling, she would go with Cole back to Ninjago for about a couple of days or maybe a week so that she could just simply relax and recharge her batteries, as her words. 
and the council didn't mind because they knew that to have a queen of a high morale is a good thing because if the queen is so exhausted that she make wrong mistakes by ruling it will only backfire to the people and eventually backfire on herself so the council promised to take care of the kingdom while she is gone for even if that you need to do some relaxing and after being married for about two years, Cole and Vanya, they were informed they were expecting their first child. And that was actually a son. When they informed his family and his friends back home in Ninjago, they were all overjoyed. And they named their son Adam. And only about three years after they had Adam, they have a daughter, which they named Lily. Lily was like her mother. And even when Adam was a bit older, he discovered that he possessed the same power as his own father, the power of element of earth. And Cole had an agreement with, with Vanya. And that agreement was, if any of their children would show the abilities to manipulate the element of earth, they would send back to the monastery of Spinitsu so they could be taught how to control the power. And she thought it was actually a good idea because otherwise, if Cole wasn't around and if they have a child who had the power of element of earth, it would only backfire like could cause a lot of damages. And when Adam was old enough, he was actually sent over to Ninjago where he was practicing at Monastery of Spinitsu. His father was his first teacher for a bit of a while before he went back to, to the kingdom again. But Lily, like it all, she didn't have the same power as her father did. But she was just happy to be a princess. And even despite that Adam was the firstborn, he didn't want to be the next ruler of the kingdom. And so they decided to make Lily to be the next queen of the, of the kingdom, which she didn't have a mind of. Because Adam, when he was older, and when he was declared as a master of earth element, like his father, he decided to remain in Ninjago. Where eventually at one point he did get married and have a family of his own. And one day, Lily was then became the new queen after Vanya and Cole stepped down from the throne as the rulers. Both enjoyed their new now this their new life together. But even after all this, Cole couldn't be happy that he actually listened to Lloyd's advice to inform Vanya how he actually felt. Because if he hadn't, he would have missed out so much happiness. He was just happy that he fulfilled his dream and that he listened to the advice of his old friend. Even Vanya was actually happy that he did confess her feeling, his feelings for her. And this is how Cole and Vanya found a true love, got a family together, the and